Uh, make sure you have your vest, make sure you have your extra ammo, handcuffs, handcuff keys. Kindness Police Department will be conducting a pandering sting tonight. We've uh, placed an online ad uh, advertising a prostitute um, here at a local motel. We've had issues with prostitution in the past. Some of these issues have ranged from everything from kidnapping, rape, um, ag assaults, armed robberies, robberies. We're answering phone calls um, to people that are answering the ads. We're actually here on location. They arrive at the location where law enforcement takes them into custody. Police, get on the ground. Get in here. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Move your arm back. Oh. I got you. Got cuffs? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We don't have nothing in the works. Science Police Department, sir, you're under arrest. Sir, you have any weapons on you? No, sir. No gun, knives? No, sir. Almost everything we're dealing with, we're not dealing with street walkers like the 1980s, 70s, and 80s, and previously. Now, um, with the internet, um, there are various sites that people can go to that you stay very anonymous, it's very easy, it's very easy to stay anonymous, and it's harder to track. They're, they're constantly bouncing from, uh, the girls are constantly tracking, are bouncing from hotel to hotel, so it's making it uh, much more difficult on the enforcement side for officers. Um, it's making it much easier for suspects, and um, the websites are very much um, user-friendly and not law enforcement friendly, so they, these guys are remaining anonymous. Most of the people we've gotten have been from DeKalb County, on the, the vast majority have come from DeKalb County. We've gotten a few that have come from east of here, some like, uh, I think the guy was from Monticello or somewhere like that, or uh, maybe Morgan County, but I think he was staying in this area, but his license was a Morgan County license. Um, but yeah, most of the, a lot of the guys we get are coming off of work from Atlanta, driving, I guess, on their way home, stopping by. Um, to try and pick up a prostitute on their way home. Yeah, we just got a call, one guy's on his way, he's uh, real close, so we're going to get geared up and ready to, um, to make the arrest. Kick your legs back. Kick your legs back. Drop the keys. Collins Police, sir, you're under arrest. Do you have any weapons on you? Any weapons? Do you have any weapons? Do you have any drugs? Not any kind of drugs. Anything in your pocket's gonna stick me? Cut me? Don't stand up. Oh my god. Do you have anything in your pockets that will stick me or cut me? Okay. You say you knew this was a setup? Okay. We've had guys that had um, no real job to speak of. He literally rode his bicycle to the hotel the first time we got, um, the first time we did his thing. And we've had guy, uh, one guy, he was a minister and he was a, some kind of engineer for a big company in Atlanta. Um, so it really runs the gamut. There's no, like I said, there's no type of person that's gonna come out for this. Never like this. The reason these guys are willing to come here is because they, most of them have been here or seen other prostitutes here in this area in the past. What we'd like to do, what we'd like to see happen is, again, the if the um, demand to come to Conyers stops, then the supply, the girls providing these services, will stop. They'll go somewhere else where they'll have more luck. Condom. Twenty. Forty. 60, 80, 100, 120.